Hey, what's up YouTube? I got my sample coasters from Sticker Mule here um, and they were offering 10 coasters, 10 sample uh, pieces for 9 bucks. Free shipping and I jumped on it. The great thing about Sticker Mule is, is if you have any sort of ideas branding wise, they offer these you know, periodically and repetitively deals that you know it gets you into a great product and it allows you to see the value that they offer. Um, which, cause uh, you know, cause I really like their, um, the quality, uh, they're pricey, but you know what? I think you get what you pay for. And I haven't had anything, honestly, that really needed to take off enough where I needed to buy like a thousand stickers. Um, and, you know, I've just created a few brands and things like that. And this is another one and it's called original lick. So let's get inside and check out kind of that, you know, the quality that you're going to get from sticker mule. Okay. So another cool bonus that you get from sticker mule is they give you some free stickers and it kind of shows you like the, the quality, like. I think that the quality of this, this is like a vinyl sticker. It's got a nice weight to it, um, and it's just got a nice feel. The camera color is a little bit off here. This is uh, feeling a little blue to me, so it's kind of making this thing look pink. Um, but I can assure you that this is kind of a, like a peach, you know, peach muzzle here with like a nice, you know, milk chocolate brown here with like a dark chocolate here and kind of that same peach and stuff and the white, you know, is the white. But it just gives you an idea of like, you know, the kind of the quality that you can get, which is really nice. You know, if they have the sample to get regular stickers or round stickers or round the corner stickers or whatever, definitely jump on that because it's really good stuff. And they give you kind of like, you know, here's the, you know, like basic style stuff. And so, you know, you can see what they have to offer, um, which is cool to get free stuff and good promotions. And again, it shows you like the quality. So, you know, really kind of like that about Sticker Mule. So I'm pretty sure these are going to be pla or, uh, paper. I was hoping they might be like some sort of composite, but I'm just thinking it's going to be like that paper style printed. Yeah. So they're like, yeah, they're those paper style coasters. But, uh, you know, it's pretty cool just to be able to get a sample pack of what your stuff's going to look like. And uh, let's dig in and see. Hmm. I mean... I would say that the quality is okay. It's got some sort of, I don't know, luster on it, but you could, I don't know if you guys can see that in the reflection, but it's got like some splotchy areas on it, at least on that one. That one looks pretty clean. I wonder if it's just an outside thing. Yeah, these are a lot cleaner. Wow, okay. Yeah, these look a hell of a lot better. This outside one is kind of jacked up. I don't think, you know, I mean, quality-wise, I think, you know, you're getting, you know, it's not bad. It's lined up straight. And, you know, I put in the notes, I said, please, you know, that I put this black. It was a square, and I wanted them to line it up so you had this, you know, you had the circle go all the way around, and it was all even. And I think that they did a good job. And I kind of feel like they take the extra effort to make sure that it looks good before it goes out. Like, I kind of feel like they'll nudge it here and there just a little bit. Like, for instance, the detail of the thickness between these two right here. You know, the white's slightly thicker than the black, but it totally works. And I had asked them to do that. And what I did, too, was that they they put it on there, and then I had to put the note, like, during the, uh, the approval process. Um, so the first time it came out, it wasn't right. And then I told them, asked them what I needed them to do, and they did it quickly. They sent it back to me, and, you know, I proved it. So I think, you know, these to me, unless you get like 10,000 of them, they might be a little bit too much, I think, for what you're getting. But, you know, for a quick thing, I think they're pretty cool. I was expecting something like more like a composite. I thought they were saying, hey, look, we've got this new product, you know, like maybe a new material that we're offering that's different than everything else. Not, you know, your typical paper, you know, pressed paper coaster. Because the second the water hits that, well, actually, you know what? Maybe that's what that coating is. That's what we should do. I'm thinking that this this goop stuff that's on here might be like a protective coating because I'm thinking, you know, they're paper. And so the second, like, any sort of moisture hits these things, they probably would swell up and stuff. At least, you know, normally they do. So maybe there's a protective cover. Maybe that's, like, added value to these. So maybe we'll do a test. All right, so I forgot to include this. This was, uh, I guess, their sample. And I don't know if you can see in the reflection, but it's got this little line right here. And it's, to me, it's a little bit odd because I've never really seen that, I don't want to say imperfection, it's weird, it's just that sticker mule for me has always been like, 
there's no flaws. Like they're offering you this great opportunity and there's no friggin' flaws. It's not like, yeah, we're gonna do it on the cheap. They give you the top quality, but it's interesting because this is the first time I've seen kind of like flaws in the product. And I don't know if they do that because, you know, hey, this one's jacked and we can't use it. Okay, so on this one, I think we're gonna just, you know, since this one's a goopy one, we're gonna just put stuff on it and see how it reacts. Because I don't, I don't think this is gonna get enough condensation. Um, so I'll just, I think I'll just use this for a while, keep it on my desk and, and just see how it holds up. Uh, and then this one will just put the stuff directly on it right now and see how it reacts. These are gonna be our little test liquids here. I've got the beer, that's this beer right here from Trader Joe's, it's like a lemon beer and it's fantastic. This is just the tiniest bit of vodka, Tito's vodka that is, and this is just tap water. So we're gonna go ahead and put this stuff on here. Okay, so we've got the beer. I'm just gonna go ahead and stick my little pinky finger. Ooh, it landed right there. Okay, you know what, let's do it on the white, and then we'll also do it on the green, and we'll see how it affects everything here. So we'll do three drops. Okay, so I've got the vodka here. I'm gonna do the vodka. We're just gonna spill this across here. Let's just see how that works. And we've got our tap water. So we'll just pour the tap water right here. And we'll see. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you guys what the results are here. Um, it looks like it soaks up pretty good. Um, it's interesting because the green is still, I don't know if you guys can see that, but the green, it's still bubbled up. It's like the surface tension is still there. And then this, I don't know if that's too close, but this stuff soaked up pretty good. You know, from what I can tell here, it's looking to me like there's not too much of a coating. Um, I thought, you know, I think that it's more of just like a luster coating Okay, so I was seeing a little bit of water resistance from there, but this, uh, the vodka definitely swelled up. Um, the water itself, it didn't really swell up. It looks like it absorbed more, um, but there's some discoloration. There's also some discoloration here from the vodka, and this is just the tap water here in this area. Yeah, it bubbled up because you can kind of see that surface area, but when I spread it out, it wasn't too bad. So, I mean, oh, we're already getting some, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. Let's do just a little bit of water here. All right, so this is the first time I've done something like this. I'm, I'm not intending to like go after sticker mule or anything like that. Um, I just got the idea right now to see if there was a protective coating on here and that's kind of how everything started. So I'm not trying to go after sticker mule in this video at all. I think sticker mule is a great company, um, but these coasters, I mean, it's I, I'm thinking for like a real, you know, promo type thing like it's going to be a one-time deal and but I would kind of think that this wouldn't be so good to have your because the second the water hit this stuff I mean you know I I'm kind of surprised so I don't know what they're doing I, I don't know if they like print these and they just it, you know adhere them to the top or they actually print on the coaster I would think I don't know all right, so I would say it's been about four or five minutes since we put the liquid on here, and the <laughs> the coaster is kind of not holding up very well, I would say. I find it a little bit interesting that this is coming off as its own piece. I don't know if it has to do with the ink or the density or anything like that, but uh, well, it's starting to come up here as well. Wow, so this whole thing comes off. Huh. All right, so again, I'm not trying to go after Sticker Mule. It's just that it, it just kind of, you know, ended up working out this way. I definitely think that the coasters for me are not as valuable as the stickers. Their stickers are awesome. These coasters, um, not so much. All right, so my conclusion is I probably wouldn't get these if you're going to throw like a kegger or something like that unless, you know, you just want to put them everywhere and it's kind of like, hey, there, you know, there are thousands and thousands of these and, you, you know, you'll end up with this, you know, this logo like literally everywhere at the party. That might be um, something that works out for you. 
but I think you know the best thing for these is kind of like the non you know, kegger situation where you know there's not going to be a lot of spillage, maybe not of you know condensation and things like that. All right, so that's going to be about it for this video. Um, the cool thing is is that you get you know it was ten for nine bucks, free shipping. Um, I think that if you you know want to just get a quick look at what your logo is going to look like with something like this, which is why I did it. Um, I think that it's a it's a really good option. Um, as far as the quality of these things, I'm going to say that they're pretty, I would say, typical of the paper style coaster. So I wouldn't expect too much from it, you know, as far as like, you know, strength and holding up to liquid and moisture because it's a pretty much a paper product. But um, it's definitely a good promo. Um, you could even just, you know, use these as Frisbees to throw out to the crowd or something like that. I mean, just as coasters, it would be a good way to advertise. Um, you know, so it's not like you're going to hurt anybody with any of these because they're super light, I don't think. So this could definitely be like a, you know, from the stage or from the, you know, stairs or steps or whatever to throw out to people. Just as a quick and easy way to uh, throw your logo and promotions out there. And if you like Original Lick, check it out. I'll put a link below to what I'm doing. Just kind of sticking out on Instagram right now and just getting this thing off the ground. But if you do like what you see here, I uh, plan on putting out some other stuff, some t-shirts, products, and some art. Um, just kind of collaboration stuff like that under the brand original lick so if you like it check us out uh, check out the link below please comment like and subscribe and thanks for watching